Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? I'm Another trying! Choice. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life. Oh my life, God! From the moment Please open it! Him, let me until out. the moment I say, Have Well, we're back in Blow Your Mind Simulator 427. All right. <laughs> we are back. All of his co workers were gone. Yeah, yeah, what could yeah. It mean? We are back. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Looking for more endings. All right. You guys, I did read a couple comments that said you can actually open some of these doors that aren't supposed to be open. So I'm going to try that now. Uh, you know, we're going to go through, we're going to try a couple, couple new things. Apparently, there's 40 some endings in the 420. Stanley went around touching every little <laughs> thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. But are you sure? Okay, you sure? Got it. Look, I will find a damn secret, and there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Are you sure about that? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. All right, now I did read one thing about... Because uh, I would have... Yes, truly a room worth admiring. Shut the hell up. It had written, but eager to Here's get something back to business, I God Stanley took the first open door on his left. This is something I wouldn't have done if no one mentioned it. Because I've already... You remember last... One of the videos I jumped off the thing and, and died? I did see a comment Stanley that said... Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. There's a walkway I can land on. Oh, that one. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong uh -huh. foot here. I'm not your enemy. Really, I'm not. Really, I'm not. I realize not. that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. But did you know There's it's been about been neglecting Stanley? This? Someone what? Really? Yes, I was really? In the of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen Listen, to I you? I don't trust what? you. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Okay. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Do it. You failed. All right. You failed. To be one, to be continued. To be three. All right, prove it. So far, nothing's... Ooh. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Hmm. Now normally I would pick red, but you know me. Kind of an asshole. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. What? Stanley walked through the red door. No, I didn't misunderstand. Are you like me now, bitch? I still don't think we're communicating what? properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Blue. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Yeah. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Yes, I do. Don't let me stop you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Mm. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. <laughs> Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Huh? Skill trees? Ooh. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing be great. so far. Let me level up. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Yes. 
There we go. Oh, God. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Office space. Yes. Oh, you know what? This now this feels nice. All right, this feels great. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. All right, you know what? I'm going to give it a four. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks mm -hmm. to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Yeah, you killed here, it. based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Yes, come on, please. Whoa! What? Huh. Whoa. Skip the intro sequence. Only the worst three chose to... <laughs> Only the worst three percent. Don't be talking shit. Wow, I'm in last place. I'm really in last place. Are oh, you saying I ain't got friends? <laughs> They're absolutely roasting me. A dead rat. And this shouldn't be dead squirrel, huh? So I'm worse than a dead rat. All right. All right. I'm going back in here. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Yes, absolutely. I'm trying to be the very best. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No, that sounds Perfect. great. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby <laughs> crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Come on, this way. This way, baby. Yeah, there you go. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Uh, maybe a because little of both. The latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's <laughs> over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Yo, what? what is this? What are we gonna play? What the f- Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. <laughs> perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Oh. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. Hey, that sounds what a good. a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Now we're talking, you see? This is the type of gameplay experience I'm after. All right, that whole walking around in the office. I ain't never worked in an office building. You know who the hell I am? I'm trying to be in the outdoors. You know? I'm trying to learn a little something about nature and the perils of outdoor living. Oh, man. This is this is fantastic. Narrator, you really, really outdone yourself. Oh, no. no, 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 no. It can't be. What? What is it? 
It is. It's an open world game. Good oh. God, quickly block it off. What? No! Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. Narrator, you... really wandered off into that... that thing. That big, open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, <laughs> oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Well, technically... Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another no! game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. I was enjoying the fresh air, narrator. All right? Just let me, let me keep looking. Okay. I think this will be just the thing. No, no, no. Listen. What? Is this Rocket Wonderful. League? Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Hmm. Well, just give me one second here. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Yes! We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, get the ball. Come on, we got this. Eh. Ooh. Oh, look, I don't even have to... Easy. Honestly, easiest game I've ever played. What the? F Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Uh -huh. Is it better than my miserable little story that... Hold on. What are you doing? Stanley, <laughs> <laughs> mm. don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Narrator? I think it's just me here. I think I've absolutely broken this game. Okay, I'm scared. I'm a little scared. <gasps> Shit! I'll be very quiet. All right. We're going to escape this damn game. We're going to get away from this narrator. All's going to be good. Keep it moving. Come on. Oh, we're almost at... We're almost at 427. 427 is our office. Ah, look at this. Now, this is an office. Okay? Act like I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> Clearly, I don't. What? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Who are you talking to? I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Of course I am. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. Wait. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Bitch, I can't. <laughs> Hello? It there we go. Yes. Oh. oh, we're back. Wait a minute. All of his co workers. You son gone. of a bitch! What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do new content. But I ain't seen all the old content yet. Wait a minute. 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I want to go through the red this door. This is not the correct way to the meeting room. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Okay, I'm Stanley not. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, I'll go this time. Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Okay. Let me go in here. Another way to go? Ooh. Go here. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. <laughs> here. Whoa! Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it is. If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Oh, yeah? I actually feel happy. Happy. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm so glad you're happy. It'd be a shame if somebody were to just, I don't know, take it away from you. No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. Oh. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Hmm. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Oh. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Beg me! Beg me, narrator! You have five seconds to change my mind. Four. Three. Two. One. You asked for this, narrator. No! Oh. Thank God. Oh. You lived. Not for long. You no. No, no. What yeah. are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. No. Why are you doing this? Because I hate you, narrator! Stanley, let's go back to the other room. <laughs> Can you do that for me? No! Absolutely my not! God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll mm -hmm. throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Mm -hmm. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Uh, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't oh, know God. anymore. Oh, my legs! I just wanted us to get along. Oh, my legs are broken! But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Damn right it is. I don't feel bad for you. All right? I don't feel bad for you. You're not tricking me. Amber Heard ass. <laughs> Let's go. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> Got him! I'm going to go make him happy now. Yes. Perhaps you can. What? Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, look. Ah. Oh, and yes. You'll see, you'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? This place is kind of dope. I'm not going to lie, but there's not a lot to do here. <gasps> it turned red. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's getting even better. Holy shit, it's getting even better. Wow. Oh, narrator. Never in my all my years have I seen anything this beautiful. All right, narrator, I'm not going to lie. You need to give me something better than this shit or it's it's off the cliff I go. All right, what Stanley else can we get into? To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right, you know what? Maybe I have actually. I don't think that I've ever. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he I've never done what I was told. Left. I've never just followed the damn instructions. 
I will try to get it. If I can get in any Yet room on the way. There's not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up <gasps> to his boss's office, Ooh. hoping he might... Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Hmm. They let me come in here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Except for the fact that you're talking about it, you know? If you weren't talking, I'd probably... It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> Fuck all. <laughs> ah. Yep. Are you... Are you really still in the broom closet? Mm -hmm. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Well, you see here, listen. There's not really much else to do, you know? Making content is hard. So if I could just stand in one you spot... You realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally... This closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Yet here we are with all of these voice lines recorded, so obviously something cool is in this closet. Right? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the <laughs> broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Oh, did you find the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Wow. That all with drug money. Wow. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> wow, don't be putting my business out like that. Are you really? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. What? You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system what? and you collapsed on the keyboard. What the fuck are you well, talking in a about? situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Mm -hmm. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. I am not! They've fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic <laughs> first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful <laughs> commentary of this game is not lost on them. I am very All much right. alive! When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Nope. Still here. Still alive. It's still me. It's still you. I know you're still there. Alright? Oi! Did you see the broom closet ending? It was my favorite ending. Yeah, you like that shit? Huh? You don't understand how patient I am. I will go make a damn sandwich. I will go make a damn sandwich and leave this sitting right here. All right. Uh, I don't know how long I've been sitting here. I literally went and made a sandwich and I ate it. And uh, we're still here. So maybe there's not another ending here. Oi! Is he fun? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. What? I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Stanley, it, it, it's still me, Stanley. You too? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look. You can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. What? Waited a good bit again? I'm assuming. Out and back in. Let 
Na? Hmm. I don't think there's anything else we can do. All right, that was the broom closet ending. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. I'm going right in. I'm going Stepping right in. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. I'm going to put and it in so right this time. the boss had assigned it an extra secret PIN number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Yes! Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Ah, yes. Okay. Now, we've been out here before, uh, but I don't remember what we did, but I'm assuming it was not listened to the narrator. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. No, oh yeah, I do remember. We walked down a hallway last Stanley time we were here. straight ahead through the large door yep. that read Mind Control Facility. We went that way. So let's go this time first. Turn the damn lights on. The lights on. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Mm -hmm. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, of course I do. Ooh. Yeah, let's see what's on. Go ahead and turn the cameras on. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Oh. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. I've the seen this lives before. of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. All right, listen. Last time I was in here, narrator, you got pissed off. You said I wasn't supposed to be here. Now it's okay. Sounds kind of like bullshit, if you ask me. I'll be real honest with you. What's this? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. Maybe that's why I've been disobeying so much. You ever thought about that? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yeah, I'm about to be utterly blind because all this bright ass light. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. What? Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Wow, let's go, Stanley. What if we just hit some of these buttons? Yep. Ah, listen, narrator. We almost got there. You know, we almost got there. But I'm just and gonna... when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Agreed. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? 
After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yep. Ooh, yes. That kind of scared me. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh, shit. In the event that this machine is activated without no! proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. What? Eliminating the entire complex. Nuclear? How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Uh -huh. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape okay. it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. Oh, God. More time to talk about you, about me. Where we're going. Shut the hell up! What all this means. I barely know where to start. Is this three? It's four. What's that? Fuck! You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Tell me. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was no, merely in this of instance bitch. of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, Fuck. I let the office sink into the ground, Wait a minute, one. swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events so this has is been power now. amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Oh, goodness. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Thank Why you. not? Thank you. Oh, These you beautiful are precious man. Precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, you're so beautiful. You are so oh, beautiful. Dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're yes! supposed to be doing right now? That's exactly or right. Did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Ooh. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, <laughs> clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? Yes! One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> oh Stanley. my god, they laugh. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. I'm trying! This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, oh, so you I did can't. something. I kissed my Take ass. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Huh? That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big What's boom. What's happening? Ending. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? I'm trying! Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life. Oh my life, God! From the moment Please open it. Him, Let me until out. the moment I say, Have Help! Well, shit. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Oh my god, this game. This is the game that keeps on giving, huh? The end really is never the end. Except for the end of this video, which is right here. <laughs> Let me know which of these endings so far has been your favorite. And you know what?
to hell with it. I'm going to start looking at the comments, seeing if I've missed some different spoilers and stuff. Because I literally can't just run around here for hours and hours and hours aimlessly. So, yeah. Thanks for everything, guys. Thanks for all the support. I love you, and I'll catch you on the next video. Kiss my ass, narrator. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room.